Number 61, integrated concepts. What current must be produced by a 12 volt battery operated bottle warmer in order to heat 75 grams of glass, 20, 250 grams of baby formula, and three times 10 to the two grams of aluminum from 20 to 90 in five minutes? Oh, God. All right. Yay. Okay. So <laughs> let's let. Okay. Ready? Run through it. What current must be produced by this battery? Blah, blah, blah. We know it takes energy in order to heat things up. So I'm thinking about current, voltage, and energy. How are they related? They're related through the power formula. Power is equal to the current supplied multiplied by the voltage. So remember power way from way back when is simply gonna be energy per time, all right? So instead of writing power, I'm just gonna write energy per time. That's equal to IV. Now I wanna find the current, so why don't I just solve this? And I could have done that uh, initially. Um, I, why don't I just solve that for I, get it out of the way, okay? Bring the V on down, cross multiply it. And now I'm just gonna reorganize it a little bit, bring the I on over to the this side, bring it there. So now we have our little formula. Now I need to know then time, right? That this is going on. Oh, they told me five minutes. Just remember, we're gonna need that in seconds. So we got that. Voltage, oh, wonderful, they gave me the voltage. Energy, well, they didn't give me the energy, but we gotta find the energy required to raise the temperature of those three objects, glass, baby formula, and aluminum, from 20 to 90. So I'm simply now going to write this, that the total amount of energy here will be equal to the energy. I'm gonna plug in a Q now because we're talking about heat energy, but it doesn't really matter. You can leave it E. The energy it takes to heat up the glass plus the energy it's gonna to take to heat up the baby formula plus the energy it's gonna to take to heat up the aluminum, all then divided by the time multiplied by the voltage. Now remember, this is uh, all these will be in the uh, same phase. There's no phase changes, so we don't have to worry about latent heats of vaporization or fusion or anything like that. So this is just going to be mass of the glass multiplied by the specific heat of the glass multiplied by the change in temperature of the glass, plus then the mass of the baby formula times the specific heat of the baby formula times the change in temperature of the baby formula, plus then, oh my goodness, the mass of the aluminum plus, uh, times the specific heat of the aluminum times the change in temperature of the aluminum, all then divided by the time multiplied by the voltage. Now the changes in temperature are gonna be constant amongst them. So you can pull that out. You don't have to necessarily keep plugging that in. And that's what I'm gonna do when I do my calculation now, okay? So I'm gonna pull out a constant delta T. And I know the change in temperature is gonna be the 90 minus the 20. It's always the final minus the initial. So in other words, I'm gonna plug in here for my change in temperature. I'm going to take, I'm gonna plug in, excuse me, 70, okay? All I'm doing is I'm taking these terms and this should have been uh, sub AL and there should have been some G, but it doesn't matter because they're all the same. I'm gonna take them and I'm basically factoring them on out. So I'm gonna be left with this term, this term, and that term all added together. All right, and let's do it. So now we're gonna take the mass of the glass. What did they tell us it is? Uh, 75 grams, but we need this stuff in kilograms. Be careful. So it's going to be uh, 0 0.075. Multiply that then by the specific heat because that joules per kilograms, so these are fine units. We don't have to convert anything in here in physics, so this is 840. And I realize I'm gonna run out of space, so I'm gonna bring this on over, over here for now. All right, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add to that now the mass of the baby formula. Careful, that needs to be in kilograms, 0.25. And uh, what's the specific heat of baby formula? Well, it's basically water, right? It'll approximate water, Four, uh, 4184. You might see values used 4186. Uh, it just depends on the temperatures. So uh, honestly, who, if that's the biggest problem in these problems, then uh, I think you're doing fine in the class. So don't worry about which one you're using. You know, it, it, it's, it, it does, it's a function of then the 20 degrees Celsius. All right. Um, you might even just see values used 4180. Okay, it depends on where you're gonna round it. Obviously, and this isn't even exact. You might get a more exact value. Okay, enough of the lecture. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to do the mass of the aluminum, which is 900. Multiply that by then the specific heat. Uh, excuse me. The mass, sorry, was 3 times 10 to the 2. All right, so that's that's basically 300 grams. 300 grams, but we need that in kilograms, so it's going to be 0.3. Okay? Multiply that then by the 900, which is, which is the specific heat. Oh, my goodness. And finally, we got that. And now define it by the time, but this is in minutes, and we need it in seconds, so that's going to be 5 multiplied by 60. 
uh, because we needed seconds. Five, how many seconds are in five minutes? Oh, 300. And then multiply that by the voltage. 12 volts, that's what they gave us. And uh, yeah, if, if you got all that, we're good. We're good to go. So let's do the uh, numerator. So I'm going to do all in the brackets first. So 0 0.075 multiplied by 840. And if you didn't make a mistake yet with all that stuff, there's more opportunity to make mistakes now in the calculator. So be careful. I'm going to stop talking so I don't make a mistake. Doesn't guarantee that it won't happen. And there I go. I keep talking. And <laughs> error syntax. Damn. What did I do? See? Okay. Try it again. 0.075. I'm going to talk it out. Maybe it's better. Uh, times 840 plus then 0 0.25 times 4184 plus 0 0.3 times 900. Take that whole thing, which is about 1300, multiply it by 70. And now divide by, in parentheses, 5 times 60 times 12. Close those parentheses. And there we go. 26.8. So the current that's going to be uh, needed to do this is uh, 20... What? 26, 26.8. 26 it's a large current. Um, 20.26.8 uh, amps. Okay. All right. Well, there you go. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it very much. Please remember to help us out and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Take care.